Well then, back at Scunny today. So, as you can see, just about scaffolding's coming down on the tower. And today we're going to attempt something really well. I've come over because Green didn't want to kind of do it on his own. But this is what we're dealing with. That's it. Got a cross that we've done for the gable of the chancel. And we need to get this up on that scaffolding somewhere, probably about seven decks up, and get it fitted. Now this thing, when you look at it, it is so fragile, and it's big as well. It's my hand there, and everything's all been cut out around here. All these are just on by probably 40 mil there, all up around there, so it is so fragile and we are going to attempt to get it fit this afternoon we've drilled an hole in the bottom there 20 mil and we've got this 16 mil stainless bar that we're going to put in there that runs up to i think it runs a bit past that uh, up to here somewhere that's going to brace it and then we've been thinking about this i know it's i've known it's been coming up so kind of been thinking about it over the last few weeks and the idea is what we're going to do we've made these templates that we're going to put there's two there 18 mil ply we're going to put it on the top and the bottom of it we're going to glue on some 25 mil polystyrene onto these we're going to mark it on here we're going to put some thread bar through, I think we've got six, two, four, three, eight places that we're going to put some thread bar through. And then we're going to have these two, which are going to be lifting handles. And then we're also going to have the bottom section down there where the stainless bar comes out. We're also going to thread that on. So hopefully that's going to stabilize it all and we're not going to have any pressure points with that polystyrene sandwich in between it. And then these cover any, any areas that we might bash it going up the scaffolding. So we'll, uh, just going to get these bolted on now and uh, we'll see how we get on. Could be an idea, eh? If you've got some clips. Let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah, there we go, lad. Oh. You're in the way of my camera. Oh. I'm filming this. Oh. Come on, then, up inside. Hello. There we go. Got them all drilled up now, and we've just cut these uh, bars, 100, uh, 500 mil long. I uh, reckon they're going to be about 100 mil in each side, and we're hoping that these are going to be some little handles as well. So we're just going to spray glue on this in polystyrene. We've tried it; all the holes miss any bits on the cross so we'll get these glued on now and we'll get it together give it lords I'm just hoping that when we glue the polystyrene on it's going to eliminate any slip that we're going to get between the plywood and the polystyrene so we've got to bond onto there and it's not going to slip once it gets hold of the cross so we're just trying to eliminate 
take every step possible that we need to to make it go right if you will so after all these boys hey Greena It don't matter, snap it off. It'll have to be spot on as long as it's on on a bit. There we go. Tablet's mid. Going together. That sort of movements, Dave. Good idea, this. <laughs> my idea, Dave. That's right. Don't say that. Oh, that's <laughs> my idea. Perfect to only get four spare nuts and bolts. Oh, what is that? Man, you need. Well, presumably you're putting bars in every single hole, right? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I got twenty. Do the maths, Dad. You're in a bag somewhere. Down there, at back at trailer. Okay. And it's it, so. So yeah, what we're gonna do, we've got these bars going through here now, so that we'll be able to grab hold of that. The one in there. Two in down there. Some at middle, some at edge. And then this will hopefully keep it all together and safe while we get it up the scaffolding. I think. There we go now. What we've done. These bars through, we're all tightened up, and if you can just see. It is ever so slightly compressing on that polystyrene. But go on boys, lift it up. You can, we can now pick it up on, on these handles. And it works beautifully. <laughs> well, it's not, a, it's not a gym toy. <laughs> so yeah, now we just gotta get it up top. So we'll, uh, we're happy with that now. We'll, we'll crack on and try and get up this scaffolding somehow. We'll see. Uh, we're just going to get now some resin pumped in here and we'll uh, get our bar in and fixed and we'll probably do it in a couple of couple of goals just to make sure that it goes all the way to the top I never tend to do it just in one hit and just pump it in. I like to make sure that the bar's fully coated and the hole's full. Then any dust on it. The bar's fully bonded onto the inside of it, so that's what I normally do. Put one in, get it all cut, give it a good wiggle around, and then go in for the second. A bit more resin. We just need a little sprag under there just to hold that up so it doesn't sag. Bit of that timber, bit of that off-cut something. That'll do. That'll do, yeah, yeah, yeah. Beautiful. Yeah, boy. Well, this is how we're going to do it. We just did talk about chopping some of these bars off just to make it easier. So we're going to carry it up like that, one at each side, and then me down at the bottom on the heavy end. <laughs> and then, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do, we've got some handles actually, so we're going to put some handles on each side of it to make it, try and make it a little bit easier. We're going to screw them into the plywood. But yeah, we're thinking that's going to be the easiest way to get it up now. But we're quite happy it's stabilised and it's locked in there. It's not going to move. So it's just getting the finer details nailed out now, but it's on its way. Which way was that one again? Though? No, the bottom, you know, all the way, all the way. Yeah. Go on, I get it, I get it. This has got to be the, the poshest 
cross moving device <laughs> we've ever made. That we've ever made or ever been made? Well, ever been made. Maybe. Are, are, we, are we not going to? Are you putting old screws in or what? Yeah, I, I wouldn't like to just put stick two in there, lad. Let's seeing as we've got four holes. <laughs> Come on, boy. I mean, I, I was lucky if it was in line. It's not even in line. Oh, no. <laughs> we're not opening anything with it. Well, look, me and him are roughly the same height, so it's just going to throw out out the line. It we're carrying it. Yeah. I hope your screws aren't too long. <laughs> there we go, so we'll just get these uh, carrying handles on. Keep thinking about it, keep moving. Well, we managed to get 20 foot, and then we decided we've got to chop the bars off because it was a nightmare and now we've kind of put an additional one in so we can have a strap on the front as well so already on plan d or whatever it is but we're probably going to be on about z5 by the time we get up there so well we managed to get it up so far adam's there hugging it so don't drop it we've got to take these uh boards out here just pass it up through that scaff and that's where we need to get it so we've got another deck to go up here and then up onto that top and we've just took some tow boards out up here so we're going to pass it up through there and then get it up on that final place up there i've got one up there look the guys is better last few bits now and we'll get it up Woo! That's all I can say, took some doing, we've got it here, that's the base we're going into and yeah that barn is chopping off yet but yeah we've come quite a way, let's have a look. There we go, move across there, took it up through there, down through there and we've got some stairs right down at the bottom there so. Ooh, a police action going on down there. Oh, right, another one turning up. I love Scunthorpe. Never a dull moment. Oh, another guy over there. Another police over there. Another end at Chancel. Another pinnacle we've done here. Put Finney on and first piece so all, all these were missing same on the other side as well they were missing so these have been recarved and finished off put these in last week just cross to do so we'll go you got that bit of bar go <laughs> oh. it's not having it I can thread it in. <laughs> Want to fancy turning it round about a thousand times? No. Go make it tight, that in it. Can we break my wrist now? Yeah, it's probably really wrong. You got a tape on your head? Do you have tape on you? Hey, camera. 
keeper. How, do, how, how far is that bar? Can you mark 300 on that bar? That's 300, is that? So, on that, on that other bar there, I think Scott was saying it's about 340, is that? How big is that bar? Well, it's marked 300 on it, and then how deep it's going here. Alright, okay, so we go down to there, we're right, aren't we? We got that bar, that spare bar. I think it'd be a good idea just to drive fit it as well, lad. Oh, <laughs> darn it. <laughs> I do remember saying it was 3.35. Eh? I remember saying it was 3.35. Ah! Oh. How far actually in is it? It's not that far. Uh, Let's get an half on it. No, we're not going to half on it. Point in control. What an idiot. Oh, ha, ha. He's got it. Oh, done it again. Yeah, it's far in this town. I don't mind it. Hey, give it out, Jello. So we're just getting some cuts in the bottom of the cross now. Just so that we get a bond onto that. We've already keyed that up, so we're just keying that up. And we're ready to stick it in. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, is that transmitter come on for Mac? Beep, 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 beep. What do you want? What? What do you want now? Prayers. Come and hold that. What? Oh, I've got it in a minute. Have you got uh, just some water? Is that a little spray? Have you got a bush you out? No. Uh, yes. Yeah? Where? Yeah, yeah, I did. 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 Yeah, <laughs> no, no, I did as it turns out. I didn't realise you'd let go of that. Uh, here we go. There's no going back now. Let's that bar then. Don't let go. Don't let go. Put it more in. So I want to just a little tad more. And that will do. Yep. Hey. Right. You want to grab front of it, Scott? 
just give us a lift on taking it off. Yeah. One, two, three. Hiya. <coughs> Go on, lad. <coughs> yeah. I think it wants spinning. Yeah. Spin it Just all the way around. Lift it, lift it, lift it, lift it. Quick pull it. Don't you have to keep it lifted or else it'll chip it. Yep. There you go. One, two, three. That's better. We're at level. When it's late here. Yeah? Are we going to level it up that way? Do you want to level it off, off the fire? Do you want to level it afterwards? Is it in? Is it? Just wondering whether we need to let. Is it in? You want to hold that level there, Cock? Have we got an hammer here? Is that slate? Let's see this. Uh, I've got a hammer, I've got something I can use as a hammer. We'll use Scott's impact driver, that's all it's, all it's good for. Fuck that. grand, that's not do that instead. Huh? What? What you say? <laughs> My grinder looks as nappy do that instead. Oh, no, that's not what I said. Trying to go back it up. Yeah. Steady, 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 yeah. don't, don't, don't push it like that. Take the back row. Is it in line that way, Scott? Do you want to have a look down that face? So you can match it up with with Corpins. I think it was twisting. I say one's twisting the touch. Which way? Lean back. It's level at like that. What well, the flies level? Yeah. No? Is there when? Yeah. Is it in line with Corpins like? That way, it's not like kinked out. It's right up on this front joint, it seems alright on these corners. Just grab all this, just, don't just grab the middle so you don't. Twist it. Yeah. The flutes seem to line up, don't they, on, on things? Yeah. Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, no, no, no. Looks good. I think that, that base stone's slightly twisted back anyway. Yeah. It's, it's got a slight twist in it, so. I think that's absolutely banged on. It's just where, where it's level this way now. Yeah. But we've got kind of a bit, uh, it does look like it wants to come, come that way, doesn't it? If you look at the base down here. Yeah. Let's see if we can hit that before this ground goes off. And it just, it's that looking like, have you raised that bit of slate? What's that like? Do you want to go a bit more? Maybe not. Too bad, that. Eh? No? Too bad from here. <laughs> not to level it off until you take them off, is there? No. And joints look all right, don't they? Well, I need to do something with it. It is really hard to judge where it's sitting. Seem to be better than they were, but like I say, until 
well, can you can you hold top at level where top little divot is? I mean, yeah, it's le down. level that like down from, from that bolt. Yeah, anyway, it just yeah down middle or something. Match when they just fuck it, just just a midges little bit that way. But I think we're going to be running out of time. Where's that bar? Pass that bar. Has it gone? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's not moving now. No. If it does, we've got issues. Yeah. <laughs> well, I'm not going to lie, that went a lot better than I expected. There you go. We're not done yet. We're not done yet. <laughs> <laughs> There's still time for these to come off and a piece is just f. Not say that, Dad. If you're expecting it, it doesn't happen, you'd be happy. It, and if you're expecting it, it does happen, you go, well, I was expecting that, so I'm prepared for it. No rope still on, Ad. Uh, that bloody resin went off quick, didn't it? I don't think it would go all that bloody quick. Eating it. Eh? Is it eat? Yeah. Uh, we just need to be careful how we end up stripping this, Ad. Time we go. Just come up and get his lift to stop it dropping while I take these two bolts out. Yo, don't pull on it. Jesus, where are you pulling on it then? Sorry, one of them will come off. Right, you got it. Get the old green, eh? That was really pretty shields. <laughs> Oh, they've got some other little detail yeah. in them. Yeah. I tell you what, I bet we could give them to Michelle and she'd be well happy with them. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'll try it if she wants. <laughs> oh, this one's better than that one. It's actually the centre of it, isn't it? Keep them, we'll give it to, we'll give it to Michelle tomorrow. We'll say, yeah, we've got a... We've got your present. We've got your present. Let's take them while I jump down. Take that one first. Yeah, one at once. Yeah. It's not as delicate as it was, but. <laughs> well, if anything, it's more fragile now. Is that going to survive than that, like that? Or do we need to point it up now? Uh, She's at level, Scott. Do you really want it? <laughs> <laughs> do you really want it? No. Blissful ignorance, it looks f <laughs> Some coppers over there, what it looks like. I bet, I bet it's about two mil out that. Two mil. You won't see that from the broad there, <laughs> let alone from your hands. You can't grumble at two mil at that, can you? Yeah. Yeah, boy. Yeah, boy. Well, check that out. It's in. Woo! Took some doing, but we got it in. We're pointing up on it to do, but yeah, boy. It does look smart, to be fair. Finishes it off beautifully. Oh, there we go, people. Get out, my boy. It's all up. Looks well. Big church behind it, big tower. Well, you enjoyed it. Catch you in the next one. Look at this. Inside of us. Polystyrene. All indented with it on. Woo!